वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल गाइज सो राइट नाउ आई एम इन द सिटी ऑफ निन बिन एंड आई एम टेकिंग अ बस फ्रॉम हियर टू दनांग सो येस वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू एडवेंचर अगेन टू अ न्यू सिटी इट्स कॉल्ड दनांग एंड येस दैट्स द सिटी वेर आई गॉट लॉक डाउन ड्यूरिंग द कोरोना वायरस सो आई हैव बुकड अ बस विच कॉस्टेड मी अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड थाउजेंड डॉन्ग विच इज अराउंड वन थाउजेंड इंडियन रूपीज एंड द बस इज गोइंग टू टेक मी अराउंड ट्वेल्व आवर्स टू रीच the nang so i'm going to keep you posted so stay tuned and subscribe to limitless nomad okay i'm waiting here in a restaurant and my bus is late by 1 hour so okay guys so she is the one who helped me book my bus ticket and what's her name malem loan she owns a restaurant here in tamkok ninbin called banmi hanoi and she also helps out travelers like me to book train tickets or flight tickets so after waiting for an hour my bus is finally here and Well, more hours to go for the Nang. One surprising thing about traveling in Vietnam is that you can book a bus using an agent for a cheaper price than booking it online. So, if you ever want to book a bus from one city to another city, then I would recommend going to a travel agent directly because it's cheaper than the prices you see online. Okay, so I got on my bus and the bus is very uncomfortable, but I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. See ya. Okay so the bus stopped for a while and the funny thing is that they don't even tell you that they are going to stop even after they stop they don't tell you that they are going to stop for a while for dinner or anything they don't tell you or they don't mention anything about it so it's kind of weird that you have to figure that out yourself if you are sleeping you just don't know that the bus stopped anyways i'm not really hungry so i'm not going to eat anything but yeah the restaurant seems all right clean and 12 hours later the sun was finally up and honestly i could not sleep for a single minute but the bus ride was okay it was not very uncomfortable okay so right now it's 7:30 in the morning and my bus driver just kicked me out of the bus like 10 minutes before and dropped me off in a city called Hue so this city is like 1 hour before the nang which was my actual stop the bus driver told me that i have to change my bus and get on another bus which will take me to the nang so i am waiting here for 30 more minutes by the way i am in the city of hue right now this city is famous for <coughs> this city is famous for salty coffee which is one of the best coffees i have ever had in my life they put a little bit of salt in it and it tastes so good i never thought that salty coffee could taste that good anyways they dropped me in this random parking lot and i have to wait here for 30 more minutes okay so i just got on another bus and it's the same kind of bus a sleeper bus and it's going to take me another 1 hour to reach the nang so if you are wondering what kind of seats you get in a sleeper bus in vietnam then this is what you get in reality it's called a semi sleeper seat but they call it a sleeper seat here okay one more hour to go and i wanted to tell you that the buses here the sleeper buses in vietnam they are not like proper sleeper bus they are semi sleeper so you will be able to sleep but not that comfortably in india we have buses where they have actual beds but these are just reclining seats where you can sleep you can sleep but it's a little bit uncomfortable Okay so I just booked a Grab and I booked a taxi so it's going to cost me around 80000 Vietnamese dong which is around 250 Indian rupees and yeah I was going to take a Grab bike but <coughs> uh my tripod broke in the bus and I'm really frustrated about it right now so I just took a car and also the homestay which I have booked is called Hana and that is going to cost me around 250 rupees per night to stay there that's around 4 us dollars okay i made it to the homestay the bike just the car just dropped me off it's right here okay let's find our homestay i just reached 
reached the homestay and they have told me to wait for five minutes to check in and yeah all everything looks good the homestay is really nice i'll get my bed in just five to ten minutes so that's good news okay so welcome to the room guys i just got my dorm and i luckily got a bottom bed and it's actually an eight bed dorm so, so there are total eight beds in this dorm room right now but i don't think there are total eight people living here right now the sheets and the pillow covers are absolutely clean totally worth it and and yes of course this room is air conditioned and there is also a small fan and the mirror in the room anyways let's check out the bathroom now The bathroom I would say it's a little bit okayish like not too good not too bad you know it doesn't smell a lot and yes it's kind of all right so I got this dorm bed for 260 rupees per night that's around 4 US dollars per night and by the way this is an homestay so there is also a kitchen in this homestay so I can cook my own meals I do not have to go to a restaurant every time that is why I actually booked this so I can cook my own meals and I do not have to pay a lot to go to restaurant every for every single meal and anyways that's it for the room tour i'm really hungry now so first let's go and get something to eat or let's cook something in the kitchen i haven't figured that out what i'm going to eat but let's see okay so the, okay so i just got out of the hostel and the weather is pretty cool i think it's much cooler than ninbin so it feels much better to walk around okay so i found a restaurant which serves komga which means rice and chicken and also some vegetables and it looks pretty good so let's try it this is my first time ever trying this mm, it's pretty good actually so there are some rice some vegetables and some chicken mm. you know this is the funniest story i almost thought that i ate beef but i did not they served the rice with some chicken and fish and I almost thought that was beef so it kind of made me feel uncomfortable for a little while but I am so glad it was not beef Okay so I just came to the supermarket to get some peanuts and some cheese wafers so these cost around 10,000 each which is like 25, 25 rupees so like a 50 rupees snack Anyways, I'm going back to the homestay now and we are going to go to the beach later in the evening around 5 or 6 a.m. I mean 6 p.m. The city of Da Nang is hands down one of my favorite cities I have ever been to because this city is one of the most well planned cities I have ever seen. Most of the roads here are super wide and they don't have traffic jams here at all. And also this city has one of the most fascinating bridges I have ever seen in my life which is called the Dragon Bridge. And also it's just 15 to 20 minutes away from the Sontra Peninsula which is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so it's around 6 o'clock in the evening right now and I'm headed, headed towards the beach. I slept for 4-5 hours and I totally forgot that I have to go to the beach. Yeah, it's pretty late right now. I don't think I can fly my drone right now, but let's, let's check it out. Okay, so Danang is famous for one thing and it's called Maike Beach. It's pretty crowded right now, but still check it out. Here's the beach. Okay, this beach is very crowded right now. I've never seen it this crowded. I've been to this beach before. I was locked down in this city, by the way for one month and it was never this crowded. You can also do parasailing on Maike beach and that's going to cost you around 50 US dollars or 3500 Indian rupees. Okay anyways it's time to head home. I'm not feeling well right now so I'm not going to go for a swim. Plus I have my camera and drone everything right now so maybe tomorrow morning I'm gonna go for a swim. But yeah the beach looks pretty nice. It's too crowded right now but it's pretty nice. Okay, I'm going back to the homestay and I'm going to get something to eat as well. 
because I'm really hungry. I want to go to this banh mi place but it's really far and I do not want to walk that far. But let's check it out. Okay, I found a banh mi place just next to my homestay and this banh mi is going to cost me around 20,000 Vietnamese dong which is around 60 Indian rupees. Let's try it. Pretty good. And by the way, a banh mi generally has like egg and pate in it. Pate means pork and it's like minced pork but it's pretty good. And by the way, I know I make a lot of banh mi videos because this is one of the only food I like here in Vietnam. And it's it's a pretty safe option always because they make it really good. Everywhere you go, they will always make a very good banh mi. And anyways guys, that's it for today's episode. I'm gonna see you in the next episode. So please do not forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and like this video because if you like this video, more and more people can watch it. So I will see you in the next episode. And if you want to talk to me or get in touch, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you.